so it's quite useful to know what your horse's normal pulse is um, so that you can tell what it is at rest. We can then um, extrapolate from that if it's done well, if there might be an increase in heart rate. I'm going to show you a few places on the horse where this might be possible. Uh, the first being um, on the angle of the jaw at the side of the face. Okay. So just at the curve of the cheek as the sacca crosses the jaw, if you feel on the inside of the bone of the jaw, there is a soft, um, bouncy uh, structure, tube, and if you put pressure on there with your fingers, you can feel the pulse. Um, and just remember that the horse's pulse is slower than ours, so you're expecting about a beat every two seconds. It can be quite difficult if the horse is moving his head. Um, the other place on the horse's head that can be possible to feel a pulse is behind the eye. Again, difficult when they're moving. Um, and that is just at the corner of the back of the eye, below the ear. Um, also useful to be able to feel the digital pulse on a horse. Um, this is usually easier to feel in horses with foot pain, um, in particular laminitis. Um, it can be um, very much elevated. And in fact, in thin-coated and thin-skinned horses such as this, sometimes you can look at the leg and see the bounding of the pulse without having to even feel it. But it's very much useful to be able to feel the pulse. If it's difficult to find, then it's usually just uh, that your horse is normal, or perhaps, perhaps you've got a um, sort of particularly uh, thick-skinned or hairy, heavy, heavily feathered cob. Um, so I'm going to show you where to feel for the pulse and uh, in a normal horse um, it should be very difficult to find. So run your hand down the horse's uh, cannon bone to the fetlock. At the widest part of the fetlock again you will feel a bouncy structure at about the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock positions on the fetlock. Again remembering that although the pulse may be easier to feel in a, in a horse with foot pain it's still going to be quite slow and you'd expect a beat about every two seconds. And in a slim horse, uh, the thoroughbred types particularly, it's often easy to pick up the, um, the actual beat of the heart directly by putting the flat of your hand behind the horse's left elbow. Obviously if we had a stethoscope that's where we would listen uh, for, the, for the heartbeat. So it's also possible to feel the pulse in the, under the horse's tail and this is quite useful if a horse is moving, um, particularly if he's chewing or moving his head around and doesn't want you to feel on his face. Um, underneath the tail there is a groove in the soft part of the skin underneath the dock and if you put your fingers into that groove, again a pulse should be, um, should be able to feel it.